Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We're going to tie a Bars Slump Buster, or at least uh, our version of it. Um, it's been a very good streamer for us the last few years here in the Black Hills, but also uh, when we've gone over to the Bighorn and the North Platte. Um, what I've got in the uh, vise already is a long shank hook. I think this is a 1710 Daiichi with a tungsten cone head on. You could use a brass cone head and supplement that with some lead wire if you wanted it to be heavier. And then I just started my thread. Took that thread to the back of the hook. And we'll tie in a piece of copper wire for our ribbing. Now that the ribbing's in, we'll do our body, and I'm going to dub the body. You can also use like a pearl tinsel, or you could also use uh, some sort of uh, braided, flashy material, but you want something kind of flashy. Give the fly a little bit of sparkle as it's in the water, a little attractant flash. I'm going to use a holographic copper ice dubbing. Build nice body out of that. And I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room here up behind the cone head. I want to be able to uh, leave room for a little fur collar that we're going to put in up there. And I'm going to get a tail ready. And I want that tail to hang over on, this is a size 4 hook, I want it to hang over about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch in, in terms of the leather part of this strip. So, this is a rusty brown colored slump buster. You can tie these in olive or black or whatever color scheme you want. We really like the rusty brown, brown and yellow, olive with kind of a red underbody. They all seem to work really well. Rusty brown rabbit strip here. I'm going to tie that in. Once that's tied in right behind the cone head, I'm going to fold up the rabbit fur. I'm going to take my wire and I'm folding that up right as it meets the end of the body there. And I'm going to rib that down. And then as I go forward, I'm going to sneak through the hair. Try not to smush it down. And just rib the fly. through the body just make sure again that you're wiggling that wire through and not trapping down all of your your rabbit hair and then when you get to the front tie that down and we'll trim off the excess wire To finish the fly, we're going to put in a little hair hackle collar. We're going to use the same color of rabbit fur. Create a little dubbing loop. Get a dubbing spinner. Put that on the loop. Once we get our hair inside the dubbing loop, we will trim off the hide. Just want the 
hair to remain. You could do a cross cut rabbit strip here too if you wanted to save yourself some time, but what you'll find as you get a much bulkier tie off spot that's a little harder to conceal. You can also use squirrel rabbit or uh, squirrel strips, cross cut strips here too, and those look really good. And those you don't have to do a dubbing loop with. But now I'm going to take, after I've spun that up, and wrap my fur hackle here. Once that's wrapped on, we'll tie that off. Make sure it's not going to come undone on you. You don't want to redo that process. Go ahead and pick out any fibers that got trapped down while you did your, your dubbing loop. And then you can go ahead and throw in your whip finish behind the cone there. Trim off your excess. Now that fly has been really good for us. We've been using that for trout, but it's also a great warm water streamer for small mouth, large mouth. Play around with all the different color combos, black, olive, white, and then all the barred rabbit strips give you some great contrast with the barring on the back. Um, so there's a lot of different color combos at work, but that's, that's the slump buster, at least uh, the way we tie it. So give it a try if you want a really durable streamer that's got tons of action and will provoke some good strikes, this is one to tie. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. See you next time.